Hello everyone and welcome to another set of videos and then an in-person session for EART 22101 Evolution and Paleobiology. So this week we're going to be looking at paleoecology. So this is the uh, study of ecology, that's the relationships of animals to the ecosystems in which they're living and their interactions in those ecosystems, for want of a better definition I guess, and how we can apply that to the past. So this series of videos will incorporate a range of ecological concepts. So I'm going to be introducing those um, bit by bit, and we will use those as a framework for understanding ecology in the fossil record. So how ecology has shifted through time, for example. We will also then explain uh, how we can use fossils to tell us about ancient environments and why this is the case. So why can we use fossils to tell us about environments at the past, of the past, sorry. We'll look at some of the biases we may expect when we're looking at fossils. So um, there are what we would call taphonomic biases. Taphonomy is the study of fossil preservation, and you'll be having a lecture on that with Rob later in this course. But we have to understand those biases if we want to maximize what um, fossils can tell us about past environment environments and we'll also touch on the latest quantitative techniques in paleoecology so in recent years there's been an explosion of people using very clever computational techniques to better understand um, the nature of the fossil record and we're talking about basically big data approaches in past life so i think that's all really exciting um, as I will say elsewhere, there's quite a few different bits and different moving parts to paleoecology. So I've done my best to put this together into a narrative for you, but we cover quite a lot of ground. I wanted to finish this introduction at least by highlighting why I think this matters. Well, we can use ecology to explain the distribution of living and fossil taxa across the globe. And thus what environments rocks were deposited in. I have mentioned that in passing already, but that's actually a really useful thing for us to do if you want to understand climates of the past, if you want to understand, for example, the nature of a particular um, rock or, or rock unit with um, regards to uh, what the world was like at the time and where it may have been in the world, life can give us this really valuable clue and that's based on the paleoecology of the fossils. Paleoecology is key to understanding ecosystems in the past. And so um, that allows us to understand both the life that was around on Earth at the time, but also how that has shifted through different time periods. And that's really useful, as we'll see in our last video. Um, we'll be looking at large scale patterns that paleoecology can uh, fill us in about. And this can also tell us how um, not only how past climates have changed, but when changes occur, it can give us clues as to how the biosphere responds to those changes. If we're worried about what we talked about last week, the uh, sixth mass extinction, and the, the climate change elements of that, looking at the fossil record and at paleoecology can allow us to reveal how um, animal communities respond to climatic forcing. So in brief, over the course of the videos and the in-person session for this week, we'll be covering first the ecology of individual fossils. This is a thing called paleoautoecology. Long word, don't sweat it though, I will define it very uh, clearly, I hope, in the next video. We'll then look at an introduction to sin ecology. So this is looking at ecosystems as a whole in the past, and that's ecosystem as a phrase I will define for you as well, so don't worry about that. We'll look at things called ecological niches. We'll look at environmental gradients. And then we'll look how these combine to allow us to use fossils as an indicator of the environment of deposition of a rock and have a quick example of that. And we'll finish by looking at large scale trends um, in paleoecology, so the, some of the latest research. And as you'll see on the website, there's actually some bonus material to allow you to dig deeper into that if dealing with big data and computers is your thing, that may prove really, really rewarding. So um, before I go on to the first video, um, I just wanted to remind you that your coursework this year is due on the 15th of November, 2021 at 9am. So that's directly after a weekend. So please do make sure you're able to upload 
um, and use the uh, blog interface sometime before that weekend because on the weekend itself I won't be able to help you I'm afraid. So with that I will um, see you in our in-person session and I hope you enjoy the next four videos. See you soon.